out and Bryce Benjamin continue their winning streak against this cross-dressing creep from the free show. The acceleration and the explosiveness. Quick shot by Gopal. Marsha easily shot down Gopal. Fester says no way. Bryce Benjamin and Marche Rocket, December 1st, two weeks ago, captured the IWRG Tag Team titles. And after a successful victory in Mexico, already the challenge has been laid out. Can Marche Rocket and Bryce Benjamin continue their winning streak in LLT against this cross-dressing three from the free show? Baldi, Ciento Percento, 100% Rudo. From this point forward, after his attack with a steel chair to Cypher and Nacho Clown in last month's six man tag team situation. Instead of a lockup, Fester being very touchy feely with Bryce Benjamin and his eye sockets. I guess it's better for his eyes to go there than somewhere else. Bryce Benjamin hangs out along the middle and top rope, waves high. So does Fester. The mind games have started. Bryce Benjamin with a spinning heel kick has stunned Fester. Fester cowards into one of the four corners of the ring. International Wrestling Revolution Group Tag Team Champions Marche Rocket and Bryce Benjamin last defeated Los Traumas in the finals of their respective gauntlet slash tournament that took place two weeks ago. New match up here, Go Baldy to face all day Marche Rocket. Marche Rocket, tremendous. Athlete of the ring, 6'5", 265 pounds. Former Impact Wrestling superstar, so athletic. He brings the power, the acceleration, and the explosiveness. Quick shot by Go Baldy. Marche Rocket does not seem affected by that. Marche has big strides and an awesome vertical leap. Go Baldi with a great hybrid style of pro wrestling and Lucha Libre as well, but there's no doubt there is a mental problem that Go Baldi possesses. Marche easily shots down Go Baldi. Go Baldi is convulsing like he's a fish out of water. What's wrong with this clown? Gobaldi was reaching for attack. Fester says no way. The side shows in trouble. Marche Rocket is a big jumper. Putting pick out of Gobaldi right here. There are a lot of cryptic messages on social media that were made by Gobaldi leading up to tonight's event. I think Gobaldi is darn near cracked up. He's lost control of his emotions. He went off on the side shows, Nacho Cloud and Cypher. Huge spy buster by Marche Rocket. I think they're trying to go for a winning record time. You cannot underestimate Gobaldi and his frightening speed. But he is disturbing. Speaking of disturbing, we got the fetish, freakish fashion model hot freak from New York City who is running away from Marche Rocket. Buster scared. The cross-dressing freak's been caught! Marche won't let Fester get away! Oh my! This is starting to look like a, a, a three-act comedy play at this point. Oh, Fester with the recovery! Caught Marche! 
Kincaid trying to sneak back into the ring. Master of the Master of Poison Sushi. A weird on the ring. Very hilarious. But Mark Van Rock is on a drop kick. This entire new tip put off of his head. Quick two count there. Go Baldy debating the situation. What the heck is that? Bridging upright was Fester. Marche Rocky kicks Fester right back down. From the freak show, Fester in trouble. But Gold Baldy trying to protect his partner. Reaching for the ankle. Do you think there's some sort of a love affair that exists between Gold Baldy and Fester? Marche's going to try to knock the daylights out of Gold Baldy, the official, trying to illustrate to Marche that's not the legal man. The heck does Fester have in their possession? I think he hit him with a chain. Go Baldy. Fingers all possible orifices of a skull of Bryce Benjamin. Fester trying to choke out Marche Rocket with a chain on the far side. I don't even know if the officials are aware of the fact that Fester was using a foreign object. Fester passes the chain to Gold Baldy. The side show taking advantage of the IWRG Tag Team Champions in this non-title match. A revolting situation. Some people are impressed by Fester and Gold Baldy. Some are downright. Marche Rocket with a chain. And Bryce Benjamin can do very little from afar. He does not want to break the rules. Go Baldy tries to cut off the air. Going to and from Marche Rocket tagging in. Two and one. Master shaking his caboose in the direction of the Riddle fans. The Riddle fans could care less. Sideshow have for doing anything to stop the winning streak of the Edwards, Marche Rocket, and Bryce Benjamin in this tag team battle. Quick knee lift. Watch out. Wow, oh, total real backbreaking. The Edwards are here to have a good time to show off their skills, to have some laughs, to prove that they're the best, but Marche desperately needs to attack Bryce Benjamin, the top trainer of future stars. Benjamin. Big floor on the ball, the slingshot from the outside of the inside of the ring. Bryce with the close line. The back elbow. They want to add more to their collection of victories. Two weeks of stanchion since their win at Arena Knuckle Pond. Let's 
Famous Wrestling Crossing Borders. Bryce Benjamin, Marche Rocket which had the invitation, won the tag team titles on their first drive in Mexico. By hook or by crook, they did it. And now as the new tag team champions, will they continue to dominate the scene? Two of the top international stars in all Lucha Libre today. Fester trapping Bryce Benjamin's arm. Fester definitely trying to split those fingers and the webbing of those fingers with the rest of the hand. Bryce Payne. What a nice alert move by Fester to trip down Bryce Benjamin as his head sent crashing into the top turnbuckle bay. Bryce Benjamin all folded up. Marche Rocket has suffered the abuse of the sideshow with a steel chain. Now look at this, Cobaldi continuing to push Bryce Benjamin over the knees. The razor sharp knees of the cross-dressing freak fester. Every time Bryce tries to get into an upright position, Cobaldi will not allow him to stand. Second row. Oh, he dove down with a tomahawk like chop. That single strike is giving Bryce Benjamin a huge headache. El Guapito distracted. Cobaldi's got a chain again. He's trying to choke out Bryce Benjamin with that chain. The sideshow. The freak show, whatever you want to call them, they feel like this is their night to stop the momentum and the reign of the new IWRG Tag Team Champions from Mexico, in Mexico, and the top tag team in LT, arguably, here tonight. two-on-one situation in the corner. He tries to dive, he tries to make the tag, but no way. Repeated shoulder thrusts by Gobaldi have stunned Bryce in the corner. Bryce runs in, Bryce hurdles over the top. Super kick, Gobaldi's out. This is the chance. Can Bryce make the tag? To his partner. Tag team action, non-title. What's gonna happen now? Bryce Benjamin has bought himself some time. And somehow, some way, they overcome this obstacle. Tags made on both sides. Legal switch is made. Marche taking down Bryce for several times. Nice leg, Larry. Pinpoint accurate by Marche Rocket. Sending Fister for the ride. Crushing power slam. verbal reaction. And look what Marche just found. The steel chain. If he uses it in front of the referee, he'll be disqualified. Oh, look at that. Labaldi trying to spin around Marche Rocket. Oh, oh. Did he hit him with that chain? Ring the bell? Are you kidding me? They used that chain several times throughout the match. The side show. Are going to be awarded the victory by disqualification. Oh, what a shame this is. The N words have been outsmarted. Well, that doesn't work. That's not right. Talk about Marche Rocket Fester touching up on the official. Apparently, 